Some people kill out of anger or jealousy. Some out of lust or greed. But there are others who maim and kill for pleasure. In ancient Greece, Phalaris roasted people alive because, apparently, he liked the sound of their screams. And it was said that the Roman emperor Caligula amused himself by pushing people into the sea and watching them drown. Infamous Murders Now examines four killers from modern times who each seem to take a delight in causing their victims pain and humiliation. The first killer flirted with his victims, flattering and charming them before murdering them. The second, a pair of killers, lured girls off the street, then raped and strangled them. The last preyed on his fellow students at college. It was the early summer of 1946, and everyone was enjoying the sunshine. But in June, the naked and mutilated body of a woman was found in a London hotel room, 31-year-old Marjorie Gardner. She'd been bitten, violated, and savagely beaten with a riding crop. Three weeks later, another woman's body was discovered in some woods in Bournemouth. She was 19-year-old Doreen Marshall. Naked except for one shoe, her throat had been cut, the back of her head bludgeoned, and her breasts badly bitten. There were also deep cuts along the entire length of her torso. A man named Neville Heath was already in custody as a suspect for the murder of Marjorie Gardner. Police were convinced he'd also killed Doreen Marshall, but under English law, he could not be tried for more than one murder at a time. So on the 24th of September, 1946, Heath was charged only with the murder of Marjorie Gardner. The court then had to decide if he was the killer. Heath had been living a fantasy of imaginary wealth and dominion over women since he was a teenager. He used his good looks and considerable charm to lure women into casual sexual encounters. In 1936, he enlisted in the Royal Air Force. To impress his fellow officers and attract gullible young women, he pretended to be independently wealthy. In reality, he was a cheat and a liar and was eventually discharged for embezzling funds and bouncing checks. But when Britain declared war on Germany in September 1939, Heath enlisted in the army and was sent to the Middle East, where he served with such distinction that he was promoted to acting captain. But Heath was unable to curb his criminal habits. In August 1941, he was court-martialed for fraud and once again writing worthless checks. He was put on a troop ship bound for England, but escaped when it docked in South Africa. There, he posed as Captain Selway, a war hero, and within a few months, he'd married Elizabeth Pitt Rivers from a wealthy South African family. They had a son, Robert. but the marriage ended in divorce. In February 1946, Heath returned to England, where he continued his career of fraud and deceit, passing himself off as an officer and war hero. In June, he posed as an army colonel, and checked into the Pembridge Court Hotel in London's Notting Hill. He was accompanied by Marjorie Gardner, 
a 31-year-old woman from the north who was trying to make her name as a film actress. The following afternoon, her mutilated body was discovered by a chambermaid. Heath was nowhere to be found. It wasn't long before police began circulating his description. Heath had fled to Bournemouth. Posing as Group Captain Rupert Brooke, he checked into a local hotel, the Tollard Royal Hotel. A few days later, Heath met Doreen Marshall, a pretty 19-year-old. She soon succumbed to his charm and they spent the rest of the day together, including dinner and late-night drinks at Heath's hotel. Doreen then wanted to take a taxi back to her hotel, the Norfolk. But Heath insisted on walking back with her. It was the last time anyone saw Doreen alive. Two days later, the manager of the Norfolk told police about the disappearance of his young guest. Heath was the last person to have been seen with Doreen, and he was soon questioned. Police found him plausible, but a little too glib. It wasn't long before someone spotted the resemblance to the man wanted for the murder of Marjorie Gardner in London. On July the 6th, Heath was arrested. When his luggage was searched, police found the riding crop used to beat Gardner. Two days later, Doreen Marshall's body was found. The police were convinced that Heath was also responsible for her death. But in September, he stood trial for the murder of Marjorie Gardner only. Heath pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity. But the jury wasn't convinced, and after deliberating for less than an hour, they convicted him. Heath showed no remorse for his crimes, and in fact seemed to have enjoyed killing his victims. Three weeks later, on the 26th of October 1946, he was hanged at Pentonville Prison. Neville Heath was a violent sadist who, like most killers, acted alone. It's rare for killers to work with a partner, but when they do, the results can be devastating. <laughs> 